Henry, New York resident Frank Horton claims to have seen the creature near Bulwaga Bay. 1980, me and Timmy Arnold were coming off Whitney Street. Of course, you could see over the lake because it's higher than the lake. There was no buildings or anything there at the time. I looked down, saw this black thing. I didn't quite understand what it was at first, but I looked at Tim. I said, you see what I've seen? He said, you absolutely see I see exactly what you're saying. And uh, we watched it dig in the sand and go right out to the lake. So I drove the car down as fast as I could get there. And we got down there right to the beach. And you can see we're dug in the beach and there's waves like four or five feet coming off the, off the beach, coming in ashore at the time. It was amazing. It was half the size, at least half the size of the dog park leaves. It, it, it was a huge, it was huge. To see that thing that big from that distance was amazing. I said, that can't, bud. I said, you can't mistake that. That is a third source, no doubt, in my mind. You can't miss it. A huge body, had a long neck, and it come right down, and you could see it's head perfect and a small smaller head the neck was smaller but the body was huge it was amazing how big this thing was and as we were looking at it it had white spots on it, it like black with shiny uh you could see the fins out to the side and you could actually i didn't have a camera at the time i wish i had because you never have a camera when you're when you're riding around you never you know it's just something you don't know what carry but that day i wish i had Vermont resident Vincent Dottilio had a strange sighting in the 1950s. We just caught some perch. We brought them up the bank. This was probably a, maybe a 20 foot cliff type thing. And where we were on top, you could see for miles left and right. All of a sudden I looked out and it was a wake. A small wake, probably maybe six to eight inches. And all of a sudden, out of the water comes a thing like this, like a look at look like a dinosaur. Comes out and goes quite a while, a while quite a ways, and made a wave probably I gotta say a foot and a half, maybe maybe even bigger than that. Big one anyway. And he went for probably uh, maybe twenty feet out of the water. His, uh, he was exposed probably maybe three, three feet, maybe, neck. And he had sort of a scaly back. But, you know, other than that, I don't know what it was or where it was, but he was obviously getting fish. The thing went down and we are just stunned. There were six of us that saw it, but this was a long time ago, 1958. Despite general regional familiarity with the monster of Lake Champlain, ridicule and criticism exist for eyewitnesses that come forward. As a result, many are reluctant to do so. But those that do truly believe what they have seen, despite how extraordinary it may sound. Never put my name on a sign down there like everybody else does. I just kept it to myself. So you better believe we saw what we saw. There was no mistake about it. You know, it's just the coolest thing in life. And so we saw the thing and we said, what are we going to tell anybody? Nothing. I'm not telling them what I saw. They won't believe me anyway. So probably 20 years later, maybe 25 years later, everybody started saying these things. And they explained that it was something coming out of the water looking like a dinosaur head. And that's exactly what we saw. Yeah. 